Hi. This is going to be a Q&A video where I believe I will take a few questions and put them together. We all encounter this, these people who suck our energy. And it's really not fun when it happens. But then the question is, how does it happen to us and how to deal with it? Some people said like, ah, oh, if your energy is right, nobody will suck your energy. Yep, possible. But then people with high vibrations also got their energy sucked. <gasps> but my vibration was high. How could I suffer from energy vampires? Well, you can because these people also want to feel these higher vibrations so they come to you so how to deal with this and especially if they're close friends or family your partner maybe your child your parent your sibling It's not easy when this happens. I encountered it many times and I can give you several examples where it happened and I was really disappointed because I would be in a great energy and then I would meet somebody <sighs> sorry I guess I just Experience that energy suck now. Actually, I've been feeling like getting tired and slow. <sighs> so what I'm doing now, I'm grounding. And one of the first things you can do when you feel it's happening is to go back to yourself and focus on yourself. And focus on grounding, connecting with Mother Earth. No matter where you are, if you're on the floor, if you're on the 10th floor, if you're in an airplane, even if you're on the moon or in the space station, focus with energy on grounding with Mother Earth. Visualize the grounding. Feel free to have a look at my grounding pages on my website. It's under tips and tools and then in, somewhere in the middle you see grounding and there you have the different types of grounding. Different methods, different scientific researchers. There's plenty of it. So as I said, all kind of people can suck your energy, can drain your energy. Most of them don't have negative intentions. It's just happening unconsciously. Or they envy you, which they're also not doing on purpose, but they just envy you and then they suck your energy. But the sucking energy, it happens because of the envy and they're not Consciously coming to me like, oh, I'm going to take your energy. No, they may come to you like, oh, I also want to feel great. You're feeling great. I feel shitty. Oh, I also want to feel great. So I'll come to you. And still, it's not their intention to steal from you. So how to deal with them? How, how to deal with these situations? What to do? Like I said... They're your family, they're your brother, your sister, your father, your son, your partner. There is not one specific way how to deal with this. But what I can tell you is that it all starts with setting clear boundaries. And I recorded a video about this already, where I talk about the boundaries. 
setting the boundaries and to be really aware of yourself. In order to set boundaries, set a perimeter around you, or like countries make a border or you have a wall around your garden or your land, you need to know what is yours. And then you can put a fence around it. It's not like just, oh, let's put a fence there, somewhere there, boom. Maybe it's too far out, maybe it's too, too close by. So for that, meditation can help. Grounding can help. To go back inside and feel what is really happening. The energy drainage can be literally sucking the energy or can be a consequence of you going into a lower vibration. So you can be sucked into the lower vibration or you can simply step into it because it's an old habit, it's an old pattern or because you want to be close to these people. You want to be on their level of consciousness. And this has nothing to do with superiority, this is just down on a certain level, or let's even call it a different shape, and you want to be like them. Or you believe that you need to be like them so that they will understand you. The truth is, you have changed. And you will never be same person again. Biologically, physiologically, this is true for everyone. We are constantly changing. Cells are regenerating. I don't know if it's seven months or seven years or whatever it is, but we are fully recycled every whatever number of months or years. Literally, by just breathing air, we are changing on the inside. New molecules, molecules are coming in, other molecules are going out. So let go of this first. Then connect in here and feel. And act from there. You'll know how to act what to do, what to say. But only from here. Not from here. From here you'll get in trouble, sooner or later. From here you will be in the right place, sooner or later. This I cannot scientifically prove. Unless I would round up a whole bunch of people who have done one or the other. And then let you judge for yourself if they're happier or not. I look at myself, I look at some of my closest friends. And everyone who took the steps to go and start living from here. I see them and myself being happier. Yes, maybe we're earning less than we used to earn in the corporate world. Maybe we have less friends than we used to have when we were richer or before we changed. But we feel better, we are happier. I'm not saying we're not having tough times, but we won't want to go back, not from stubbornness, simply because we have changed and we know that the old way isn't the way for us anymore. But through this change, like I said, people will walk away because we do not, ma do not match anymore. And that's fine. 
And everyone agrees it's better to have one good friend than ten fake friends. I'm not saying that my old friends are fake. I'm just saying that those who used to be my friends were friends with a different lot of you. Those who were your friends were friends with a different Jew as well. And they didn't accept how we changed. Also, we ourselves may not have accepted their changes or their non-changes, their stagnation maybe. But as judging, we do not know why they are not changing the way we are changing. Maybe they need to experience and re-experience certain things in different ways before they can take their step in their evolution. In the meanwhile, they're learning. Unconsciously, probably, but they're learning. They're building up experiences. We might say, like, hey, come on, you don't need to re-experience that three, four, five more times. You would have learned for the first time. I did. Yeah, but, well, you're not me and I'm not you. And certain things we need to experience multiple times on different levels. Or sometimes on the same level until we really learn the lesson. So to come back to the question, act from here, feel here what to do, when to say stop, or how far to push or keep people. The right answer, the true answer for you is within you in here. Of course, you can ask for help, you can ask for guidance, you can ask for advice. But a good coach will never tell you what to do exactly in your communication with others. But it will guide you to find within yourself your best way. I hope this helps. Otherwise, let me know. But you may need to go back and watch this video again after you meditate. Or at least after you start breathing exercise, which is breathing in slowly through your nose, holding your breath for a second or two, and breathing out slowly through your mouth, holding your breath again for a second or two, and repeat. And after doing that, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 times. Then unpause the video, start listening again. Or you keep focusing, not on what's being said, but focusing on the breathing. Your subconscious will get the message. It will be transmitted within you. And then your subconscious will start to speak through you. Enjoy the practice. See you in the next video.